Princess Diana's interview with Bashir for Panorama was a huge scoop for the BBC. In it, the princess famously said, there were three of us in this marriage. It was the first time a serving royal had spoken so openly about life in the royal family. Viewers saw her speak about her unhappy marriage to Prince Charles, their affairs, and her bulimia. Pashir acted in a deceitful way and faked documents to obtain the interview, the inquiry said. Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. In a statement released on Thursday, William strongly criticised the deceitful way the interview was obtained and defended his beloved mother. It is my view that the deceitful way the interview was obtained substantially influenced what my mother said. The interview was a major contribution to making my parents' relationship worse and has since hurt countless others. It brings indescribable sadness to know that the BBC's failures contributed significantly to her fear, paranoia and isolation that I remember from those final years with her. But what saddens me most is that if the BBC had properly investigated the complaints and concerns first raised in 1995, my mother would have known that she had been deceived. Princess Diana's brother said he was never consulted regarding the initial probe into the circumstances surrounding the interview. Well, the irony is that I met Martin Bashir on the 31st of August, 1995, because exactly two years later she died. And I do draw a line between the two events. Lord Grade, who was BBC chairman between 2004 and 2006, said the BBC's cover-up had been worse than Bashir's behaviour. One of the worst chapters in the BBC's history, in my view. Um, there's two issues. There's the rogue reporter uh, who gets the one of the world's greatest scoops by means of deception, not acceptable, and a scandal. Uh, the BBC's failure to get to the bottom of that. But worse still, and the most serious aspect of it, is the cover-up that followed. Culture of BBC journalism is that we, we, we're never wrong. Uh, and that's the default position. And the BBC believes that if you own up to your mistakes early on, uh, it's a sign of weakness. It isn't actually, it's a sign of strength. And that's a cultural flaw deep in the heart of BBC journalism. UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that he was obviously very concerned about the findings of the inquiry into the BBC's 1995 interview with the late Princess Diana. I am obviously concerned by the findings of Lord Dyson's uh, report. I'm very grateful to him for, uh, for what he's done. Uh, I can only imagine the feelings of the, of the royal family. And uh, I hope very much that the BBC will be taking every possible step to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again.